In this video, I'm going to show you my workflow that I use when I design websites using Divi 4.0. So definitely things has changed from Divi 3.0 to Divi 3 uh, to Divi 4.0. Uh, with 3.0, we just had the builder, but now with Divi 4.0, we have the theme builder. So my workflow is start with the template and then work your way upwards. Now over here, I have a website that I uh, created for the course Web Design Formula. And by the way, if you want to learn how to design websites, using Divi. The course is still available. It has a 50% discount and it teaches you basically how to design websites using Divi. And also if you haven't uh, bought Divi yet and you want, you'd like to use it for designing websites, I have a, an offer. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, I will give you access to the web design formula, which is worth $497. Dollars. All right, so this is the website. So if we take a look at this website, it pretty much looks like how things were with Divi 3.0, but it's how you put this together that is a massive change. So as you can see here, when I click on the About Us, it takes us to the About Us page, services page, and so on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log into the website here, admin, uh, uh, WordPress admin, and show you what really makes up this website. So I'm just gonna enter my username and password here. All right, so what you need to do when you start designing websites with DV 4.0, and by the way, this is my workflow. The first thing you wanna do is to come over here to Divi and then click on theme builder. So this is where you get the actual theme builder that has your header, footer, and so on for your website. So here you can see we have the header, we also have the footer. Now this is global by the way, so that is why if I take a look at my website here, the header and the footer will be consistent throughout the whole website. So this is the first thing that you need to do. And um, to start designing it, I'll just show you what the interface looks like. So if I click here on edit, this will take me now to the builder and this is where you design your header. So as you can see here, this looks like the normal Diffy Builder. If I click on section settings here, I can actually play around with the colors here. So let's say I wanna make it dark. This is where I would go in and make that change. But of course, I'm not gonna make any changes there. And then once you're done, you can just save changes, exit, and uh, this will take you back to the theme builder. So over here, the next thing you wanna do as well, after you've designed the header and the footer, and by the way, the footer is very uh, straightforward to design as well. It has the builder. Uh, so if I click here on edit, again, this will take me to my builder. And this is where you can just go in and customize each and every module that we have in here. So once you've designed this footer, this is what will be applied to every single page on your website. So as you can see, this is going to speed up the workflow of your web design process because you don't have to go in and start designing uh, footers for different pages of your website. So the advantage of doing it this way as well is, let's say for example, you, you wanna come back here and you decide, you know what, I wanna change the background of this footer, make it a bit darker. All you have to do is to click here on section settings, click on background, and then over here, you can just change the color slightly, make it a bit dark, save that. Uh, I'm gonna save it one more time. Now, once I close out of this and save all changes, when I go to the website, and I'll show you by just coming over here, what will happen is across the whole website, the footer color would have changed and this will save you a lot of time. So you can see here, it's of course it's a slight change, you can't really see it, but this is what happens when you make these global changes. Now, now that we've uh, talked about the header and the footer, the next stage is to talk about the body content. So you wanna have a specific font, uh, a specific header, uh, header sizes f across the whole website. And this is where you do it. So you'd come over here and uh, add your global body. Now I haven't added it here, but uh, this is where you'd add your custom body. So here you can see I've done it for all the posts, right? So you also wanna do it for the pages. So this is where you would come here, build body. So here is where you want to uh, click here, build from scratch. And you want to add you know, all your elements of what you need to use for your uh, the contents of the body uh, area of your website. So this is where everything would go, okay? Now, what I've also done, uh, gone ahead and done here is uh, for the posts, which is your blog posts, I also customized this. So let me show you what it looks like. 
So this again, remember, this is global. So this is where my main color would be. And this is how my post would look like. So I've gone ahead here. I've added my social media buttons. I've also added, you know, this um, published date. And I've also added here my header size, my heading two, heading three, my blo uh, block quote. And also you notice here that my image is going to have some rounded corners. So this is my main template for my blog. So now let's take a look at, at a single post and then you can see this in action. So if I click here on one of my latest blog posts here, you will notice that this is where now in the background, we have this beautiful image here in the background with our color. I've also added some transparency and this was added here in the design uh, on the template. So every single post that I add will will add a background image and it will also have this transparency over here. Now, if I scroll down here, you also notice that we also have the author here and that's my, that's me. My image here has the rounded corners. Now, the reason why it has the rounded corners here is because I added the rounded corners here in the actual template. So this is the best way to actually work with your, uh, with templates. And let me show you here. Over here on the comments, you can see here, I've uh, customized this a little bit uh, to make sure that the colors that I use throughout this uh, template work well with our design. So each and every uh, post that I go to will have this similar design. And you also notice here, we also have the sign up for this newsletter. Now, all this was done in the actual template. There we go. So this is the template. And this is where it has everything in there. Right, so let me show you uh, just another quick example. So if I go back here and choose a different post, let's, let's go to this one here. If I click on it, you'll notice that the background image is consistent. Now you see that we have the basket over here, the post title, and our rounded corners here, and so on. So this is pretty much the best way to start working with our theme builder. So now that we've spoken about the post, I also wanna show you something very important here because we can use this theme builder here to design so many pages. So let's say, I'm just gonna pretend as if I'm adding a new template here. So let's say I click here on add new template. Now you notice that we can actually add templates. Now this current one we're, we were looking at is for all posts. So we can also design uh, templates for archive pages, author pages, category pages, uh, specific posts. So you can do this by category. And um, over here, you can see here specific uh, tag pages. And we also have projects. If you install, uh, let's say, uh, WooCommerce, you can also have your WooCommerce product pages designed over here in the template. So when it comes to designing your website, this is where I will spend most of my time. I will design all the templates here and then start designing all the content that goes on to the website after I've worked in the theme builder. So this is my workflow. Now, if you wanna go into detail and learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course, as I mentioned earlier on, it's called the Web Design Formula. This course will teach you pretty much the process that I'm uh, talking about and also other tips and tricks uh, that will help you design awesome looking websites. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.